Welcome back people, we got some more Fishing Planet for you guys here again today. We are doing a bit of mastering. Salmon Hunt Spoon Lure. Now I'm doing these because you guys asked for me to do these videos with the hats where you get free gifts. So today we are going to attempt it and share it with you guys. I've been playing this game for a little over six and a half years. I'm slightly addicted to this game. So uh, if you are too, that's a good reason to hit that subscribe button. Of course, when those updates come out, I'll always let you guys know about those updates. And we'll always live stream the new maps, new DLCs that come out. We'll always live stream those with the face camera mic showing your new hotspots, how and where to catch certain fish. We have 500 plus videos in our playlist of Just Fishing Planet. If there's anything you need at all, you look in there. You will find it. So, White Moose Lake... Atlantic salmon 15.5 pound and we've got to catch a salmon at 44.1 pounds so I've got an idea I know what one the they like spoons where's this spoons there I know the salmon like the red spoons so we're gonna use what hook that's the biggest question see that I don't really see the difference between those two. They're both six ots, but for some reason one's cash and one's bait coins. Oh, okay, yeah, it's a lower level, so when you're level 34, you can get it. All right, so let's buy the medium spoon, and then we're going to equip that. Uh, there you go. All right, let's find it now. Look for all our lures. There you go. We found it pretty quick. All right, we go to the map. Make sure that you buy a license. Uh, Gotta try and go the right way. <laughs> Make sure you buy a license which I already have. We're gonna to travel to White Moose Lake. Now, you have got to catch a fish at 44 pound, which I have already done that. I have already caught a fish that big. But don't worry, I will catch another one. So 44.1 pound. Might as well say 44 pound. Yeah, we've got to catch one that size, which I will catch here to show you guys. All right. So we are going to spawn off at the dock. Now just to speed up some of these videos, obviously, we're going to go in different lakes and stuff like that. So it will be a little bit time consuming. So of course, I am going to make some edits into the video just to speed things up. So we're going to walk forward. And I know all around here, from about here, all the way around to about there, that marker there. There is salmon everywhere. So I've got to catch an Atlantic salmon. And I've also got to, well, at 15.5 pound. But I've also got to catch a 44 pound one to show you guys. So I'm going to have a few casts. And then when I get the fish that I need, I will bring you guys back. Either, it'll either be the Atlantic salmon at 15.5 pound. Or it'll be a bigger one coming in at 44 pound. But I'll bring you guys back in a moment. Well, that was quick. I probably didn't even need to make an edit. Anyway, fish is on. Now, don't worry, I will set a marker even though I did show you guys. Let's see if it's the 15.5 pound or the 44 pound. Either one, we need them both. All right, so there you go. There's the 15.5 pound one. Trophy Atlantic Salmon. That's not bad, that. That's actually a pretty decent size. Okay, oh, wrong button. Slow down. Okay, let's pull out the map. I'm going to set a marker for that, which is right there. Which is where I showed you where I was casting from when I first started. So, yeah, I probably didn't even need to make an edit for that one. But <laughs> anyway, right, i got to catch one at £44 to show you guys that. And then after, we can go into San Janquin. I'll bring you guys back in a short sec. Fish on, boys! Fish on! <laughs> we are in San Delta, San... Yeah, well, San, I always say San Delta. San Jenkins. Here we are. This one was probably the most time-consuming one out of all of them. This one probably did... Well, not probably. This one did take the longest to do. But we finally got it. I did have a spot from many years ago. <laughs> and I went back to that spot and I managed to find it. 
So the medium spoon again, this six up now. When I moved over into Canic Creek, I needed to use a different lure. I tried using that red medium spoon for so long and it just did not happen. But anyway, there's the marker for that one. I jumped on the boat at the boat dock and then turned right, went forward a little bit and we found it just down here. Now all around at this area, all around down here, you will find there is tons of salmon all around here. Now, very important to always make sure you use the same lure, fish the same location, try and fish the same time, the same weather. All of them things are gonna help you to catch this fish that little bit farther, uh, farther? Fa faster, further. I don't even know what I'm saying right now. <laughs> I've been up late nights, really late, and um, trying to get these videos out, making loads of edits. So this is the moment here in good old Canic Creek. This one I caught pretty quick because um, I've, again, many years ago, I've fished here before in Canic Creek and obviously I've caught these fish before. It definitely does make it that little bit easier for me because um, because obviously I've caught these fish before. I know the locations of where to find them. So it does make it that little bit easier. Now this roach spoon, I did have to purchase this. I think it cost me two bait coins if I remember rightly. I purchased this roach spoon from the shop. You can't buy it when you're on, on a map or you're in a lake you have to buy it when you're at the shop um roach spoon yeah that's on a six op as well and as you can see there i've got a new personal record that is obviously on pc on the ps4 i've got uh i think it's 80 84 pound on the ps4 but that still does the job we needed one that was 44 pound and i yeah there you go i've showed you show you guys how i caught it how i caught that again on the river text rod but just the only thing I've changed is the roach spoon. Now, as well as setting a marker for this one, I am gonna walk to this location as well, just to show you guys how to get here, because sometimes some people just show the marker and don't show where, where to walk to, and I've had people comment saying that before. Why do people always show the marker but never walk to that marker? <laughs> I can't keep everyone happy. I just can't. It just, yeah. Anyway, so we're going to move to a different spot and then I'm going to go back. So we are on the far right and as you can see, there's a little hut there. So you couldn't really get this mixed up. Now over here on the far right, it's highlighted orange just there where the guy's got the rod and the fish in his hand. So that's where we spawn in. And then we're gonna just walk straight forward, turn left a little bit as you can see, and we're walking down here. Now you can stand on those little bits of, I don't know what you're gonna call it, a little bit of ground there, I guess, that's sticking out of the water. You can stand on that, and that's what I did end up standing on. So we walk onto this here, and then all around here, there is salmon, there's chohu, there's, yeah, there's, there's just a salmon mad around here. So this is a really good hot spot, this, and to be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of Canic Creek. I've never, it's, out of all the lakes, it's, this is the only lake that I never used to really like. But for some reason now, I actually don't mind it. And I guess that's because I've come back to do a mission. And then after I've done the mission, I ended up spending a few more hours in here as well. Which is quite unusual for me. So at the tip of my rod there, quite far out, 220 foot I'm casting. But as I said, if you use the same rod set up as me, you'll be okay. This is the last one that we needed which is the unique chum salmon now i will show you again this is at a different location and i will show this spot again i did catch this on the roach spoon i've tried every spoon it just didn't work salmon hunt spoon lure mission has been accomplished and of course you can see there there's the new hat as well if you've got any comments, do leave it in the comment section below. I always try my best to respond to every single comment. That went into my home storage and that goes into our backpack. Yeah, I always try my best to respond to every comment. Smack that like button if you're still enjoying Fishing Planet as well. So setting a marker, there's so many markers around this place, but that's where I managed to hook quite a few of them because after I'd done this mission, this is a voiceover. After I'd done this mission, I did come back to this spot and I caught them insanely fast using that roach spoon. Plus, obviously, um, yeah, casting into the hot spot. <laughs> casting into the hot spot really does make a big difference. Okay, so you spawn in there where it's highlighted as orange. That's where we go. Then we just walk straight forward and we cast 
and that marker just over there. Not very far, but very easy once we knew where it was. Hope you guys did enjoy this one. We catch you people. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on those updates on Fishing Planet as well. Of course, when new DLCs drop, always do live uh, live stream that. We catch you people again soon for some more fun and games. I am out.